one other aspect of coaching that I've heard a therapist mention me is that uh, say an individual is on the fence about seeking mental health care. So they're really hesitant. There's a lot of stigma against going to a therapist. They don't want to be diagnosed with something because they don't feel like they have a mental health issue necessarily. So they go to a coach that seems benign. Um, and then they maybe conflate the two. The idea of the coaching therapist, maybe like they do pretty much the same thing. I need to have a coach. I would have to therapy. And so I think that's a faulty mentality. And you can't necessarily blame coaches for that because the, the fault lies with that individual's logic. Um, but it's possible that it takes them away from different uh, therapeutic mechanism to get them better. And the coaches don't necessarily have any sort of professional obligation to make them have them first and improve or refer them to a more appropriate modality of care. So but to know what people's experience is positive, negative, and neutral. I really am um, a third party just observing this play out in the mental health field. I think it's very fascinating.